All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today we're back with more Dirty 2K24, Women's My Rise, people. This should be out on Friday, and uh, yeah, I think the game is out for everybody on Friday, right? Right. Uh, so, uh, either way around, um, grab your snacks, favorite choice beverage, get comfy and cozy, and let's get to it, people. So, last episode, we had a tag team with Carmella, and uh, we went through Sally's side story on NXT, and had some of the characters kind of resurface. But speaking of resurfacing characters, we got Slade over here. What does Slade have to say to us? I gotta find out. Take some advice from a jaded oh. pet. Your social media presence is weaker than a fan's memory of one of your TBD shows. If you want to generate some buzz online, the best way to do that, aside from shortening your name, of course, is to make big moves. Show off those epic moves in a match full of finishers, and you'll flood the feeds, dominate the discourse, and start trending like a clip what is of a this guy going on about? cat dancing for charity. What is this guy going on about? You were leech on to us in uh, last year's My Rise. My God. So these challenge matches, they're just like a one and done type of thing. So that's fine. Let's let's go and get our attribute points and all that good stuff. Alrighty. I love Tegan Knox's model this, this year. I, I really do. Okay, so we need to hit her with a finisher. We've already got a finisher stored up, but I suspect that if we went for anything, we'd get it countered right away. And didn't Slade say that we needed a hit Tegan with three finishers, right? Am I following this correctly? I don't know. But what, what does Slade, like, he was just, like, there. <laughs> he was just there, like, what? what? He has the nerve to go on about us, like, what? I just, I, you, you, you just, uh, well, at least we've got a little bit of personality. It's not much, but it certainly helps. There we go. Wait for it. Oh! Finish her. Again. Oh, I guess we're getting automatic finishers now? Okay. See, it's... It, it, 2K is being a little bit of a troll here. They're like, finish her again! So I guess we have to just do a finisher and we get a new little dialogue thing every time. Which I'm okay with, but... It's like, why are we doing this? Oh my god. I want to know what the Miz's story is all about, but we also have, like, other things to do. Well, you're getting one more time. And I mean, hey, I just changed up the finisher, so this was really good timing. I think Tegan's done. I think we're good. Beautiful. We did it, people. We have done the thing, people. We have done all the things. Well, not all the things. We're just getting started with our career mode and stuff. And it's like, I, I can just see right now, I can tell probably y'all are like, can we just get to the main story? No, we're here to go. It, it says to finish our story. And we are finishing stories. Like, it stays true to the theme, right? <laughs> I just That's just how we roll here. Let's keep things moving along. All right, social showdown. We got 10 upgrade points and we have 5% to grapple offense. So that's nice. All right, we got The Miz, we got Candace, we got Justine Janine. Okay, so we missed Justine Janine on the first go around technically, but we've been kind of just like, you know, not going to Candace. So I think let's go chit chat with her next. Great to see you in a WWE locker room cap. Although a little surprised considering what you said about this place while we were on the indies together. What can I say? I'm trying new things. You don't have some secret beef with me like Shotzi apparently does. Uh. Honestly, I don't know what her deal is. You were always great to me when I was booked at TBD. Glad to hear it. So what's your game plan here? Game plan? I don't know what you mean. Keep having matches, win, repeat. Uh. Oh, geez. <laughs> what? You're on a different level now. You can't just do what you've always done and expect to succeed. True. You have to do the work. For instance, it's not just winning, it's how you win. What do you mean? Winning in ways that make an impact. I know you know your stuff, but I'd be happy to give you some WWE specific pointers. 
Mm. I trained wrestlers while I was on the indies, so I'm used to helping people find their groove. I'd appreciate it because we need any and all help we can get. I actually appreciate that a lot, Candace. I'm trying to put my best foot forward here. Of course, lesson one, making your opponent tap makes a statement to both WWE Universe and the locker room. Everyone's talented around here, but if they acknowledge you in the ring, they have to acknowledge you behind the curtain. Reasonable enough. I know you have a match with Chelsea Green coming up. Make her tap and win by submission. Oh my god, I was about to say, um, acknowledging us, uh, don't let Roman Reigns hear that. I mean, now granted we're on Monday Night Raw and he's over on Friday Night Smackdown, or maybe just not even bothered, I don't know, <laughs> but either way... <laughs> acknowledge us <laughs> acknowledge Christina Bennett for doing the work see we're doing the work we're about to do the work alrighty people here we go we got Christina Bennett versus Chelsea Green <laughs> that was such a terrible imp impression but it, it, it's the thought that counts right here we go it's like we stole Max's move set from last year and made it and put it on our girl, right? Right. Well, to be fair, well, I mean, I think we made him like a powerhouse striker hybrid, and I don't know what Christina Bennett is just yet. She's certainly a striker, but we we don't know. She might evolve her move set over time. Beautiful move right there from Chelsea. Here we go. Beautiful knee right there. Oh, nice strikes. Oh. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Oh, oh no. But I feel like this is also, you know, important part of her story is, you know, just how much of a wild start we've had thus far, you know? It get it's character development. Lord knows we could use anything, right? Right. Oh, here we go. Y'all see what we did there? Y'all see what we did there? Oh, we did it! Wow! Okay, well, I think the submission system's been tweaked a little bit. That makes sense, because it used to be like you had, like, three button mashing things to, like, get the submission, and now it's like... Okay, this is moving along. Y'all, we might be able to get, like, a good three stories out of this tonight. Great match. The locker room is chattering after that submission victory. Also, talk to Candice, and I think your pitch for your next match is great. I've already got approval from the rest of the team. What are you talking about? I know. I was surprised you had a good idea, too, but we really liked it. We'll set it up for next week. See you then. Oh, no. What happened? Your boy is seeing what you are doing, and it's fire. I said from day one, you might be our diamond in the rough. Our dark horse. Wait, I think someone else has that name. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Hey, we're going through the motions, right? Right. Okay, well, we only have 10 points. I was just like, why is that still going? All right, Candace, what kind of a match do we have coming up? Hey, mind filling me in on this pitch that Troy messaged me about? Apparently, I had a very good idea. Oh, sorry. I meant to tell you about it first, but I got too excited and I couldn't stop myself from spilling to Troy. But... It's good, I promise. <laughs> okay. Your submission match definitely increased your buzz within the WWE Universe. But what could make an even bigger impact while keeping it fresh? Hmm. You tell me. Knocking out your opponent. Okay, that's reasonable. Well... Wouldn't be the first time. Girl, you're in the first episode, you were putting people through flaming tables. We need to get a little bit more creative than that. Exactly. And the WWE Universe will eat it up, too. Troy's putting it all together. And Piper Niven's in. Apparently, oh boy. she's still got some lingering issues about a former name she had and wants oh. to blow off steam. It'll be an official WWE-sanctioned KO match. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, okay, we'll we'll go with it. I like it, and I'm excited. I've got some steam of my own to blow off. That's the spirit. Believe me, it'll pay off. I hope so, Candace. I hope so. There's only one way out, and that's knockout. Christina Bennett faces Piper Niven next week on Raw. Oh, God. Alrighty, we gotta see what this match is all about. I wonder if they're gonna announce the match as such, too. Oh. Wait, what? One fall? It's a knockout match. I mean, it's... it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, boy. Here we go, people. We got Piper Niven making her way down here now. Uh, yeah. She was like one of our big rivals in last year's Women's My Rise. She's looking great. Like, I, I really like how a lot of the models look this year. I really do. Especially on the women's side. They really knocked it out of the park. At least I think so, anyway. And also, I want to just take a moment to appreciate how they finally categorized the hair properly. And just categorize things a little bit more in the create a wrestler functionality. I, I, I appreciate it. Oh my god. But yeah, since I had to create Christina Bennett from scratch, I'm keeping a version of her, like, you know, in the regular gameplay and stuff like that. And I'm kind of fiddling around with just different attires and stuff like that over time. Just to, you know, kind of get some ideas in the meantime. Plus, why not? Uh, we still have plenty of stuff to do. Um, just, you know, matches to tackle and all that good stuff. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of this series. I know it's going to be like a hundred episodes. Actually, well, the last couple of years we did pretty good. I think the longest time it took us to get through My Rise was like 20-something episodes. So usually these are kind of shorter in terms of like how many episodes there are, but the videos are typically a little longer, I think. So, okay, we'll see what happens. We're just going to go with what the groove is, what the energy's like, all that good stuff. But I'm enjoying doing, you know, the longer episodes, and y'all are, you know, just enjoying it too and appreciating it. So... That's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do these longer episodes for y'all, because I know that, you know, it's just fun to just play through the, you know, the stories. Like, that's how this stuff works. Oh boy, what a counter, what a counter, what a counter! We can do it. Beautiful series of kicks right there from our girl there. Love to see it, love to see it. We can do it! We can do it! Huge knee right there from Bennett. Oh. That wasn't fun at all. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. Oh, counter, counter, counter! Here we go, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it! Can we do a dive to the outside? Oh, beautiful. Look at us. Look at us. We're, we're crushing it, people. We are absolutely crushing it. And I love our new finisher, by the way. I think this is a keeper. See, again, like, in between episodes, I just spend, like, a few minutes just to maybe fine-tune some things and call it a day. Seriously? I mean, okay, I guess we gotta go for another finisher or another submission, another something. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep going. <laughs> I mean, it is a knockout match, right? But I mean, they said, like, one fall. So I don't know what's going on here. Mm. 
Beautiful counter, beautiful counter, beautiful counter. I'm starting to already feel a little tired, and that's okay. Oh boy. Oh! Here we go. Oh boy, we got the submission hold locked in! We can do it, people! We can do it! Oh boy, I didn't know if we were going to make it or not. Okay, is this by knockout or what? Okay, I appreciate them letting us know about the vitality thing. Okay, I had a triple check. I'm like, what is going on here? There's, there's, there's a lot of damage that we have left to do. And that's okay. Oh! Oh boy. That's okay, we're trying our best, people. Oh, nice kick right there from Bennett. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. We're using our other finisher to switch things up a little bit. Oh, that did it. <laughs> that did it. That that would do it. We did it, people. We absolutely did it. We won the knockout match. I swear, are we just ever going to get, like, a regular roll singles match? <laughs> no stipulations or anything? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But let's see what happens moving forward. I've been enjoying the last couple matches from Christina Bennett, but honestly, where's the build? Kind of just seems uh, haphazardly strung together to me, albeit with some intense finishes. That's what I'm saying. We need, like, an actual story to sink our teeth into, right? Right. Oh, Becky Lynch! Oh, boy. Any chance you've been talking to Candice LeRae lately? Yeah. How did you know? Well, believe it or not, I've seen this before. Notice anything in common about your last two opponents? They both lost to me? Uh. True. But they also both worked the indies. Like you. Ooh. So? Candice has this thing about being seen as the best wrestler around here who came out of the independent scene. Someone new comes in, she talks up ring work and brutal finishes above all else. And those brutal finishes? The more the other indie darlings take each other out, the more Candace can stand tall as the indie queen. So, Candace is using me? Big yep, unfortunately. Uh she even talked up about how she used to... Used to train wrestlers on the indies. Heard that before, too. Honestly, I'm not sure why Candace holds on to her indie street cred so hard. It's something to be proud of, for sure. But she takes it to a pretty extreme level, trying to eliminate all competition. It's like, I get where she's coming from, and I'm angry she manipulated me. Can we, can we have, like, a middle ground? I get it, though. All of us who came up through that world have a lot to be proud of. Even if I don't appreciate her manipulation... I understand why she reps that part of her background. Hey, don't forget, I came from the Indies too. But I don't understand why someone would want to be known for what they've done over what they're doing now. Hmm. If someone was talking about my indie work as opposed to what I've accomplished in WWE, yeesh. Don't say suck in the past. You're here to build your future. Oh. Anyway, something to think about when you're dealing with Candace. Hmm. hmm. Becky's right. Hey, Candace, I've been thinking about my next match. With all your wonderful guidance, I'm finally ready to do the work. Well, that's great, and I have a fantastic idea for your next opponent. I promise you, my idea is even better. The match will be extremely impactful. Allow me to work through some frustrations in the ring. I'll be facing you. You talked to Becky, huh? Yep. Okay, fine. Fair play. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Ten minutes! That's all we're doing. That's all you're getting from us, Candace. We don't have time for this. I'm teaching you a lesson. Bring it. No, we got this. We can do this. Oh, I got Candace and Christina Bennett in an Iron Woman match. Oh, I love this matchup. I was a fan of both of their careers before WWE. Becky's keeping her eyeballs on us now. 
But I mean, that's kind of the thread, you know, like standing up for yourself more and also like creating a new, brighter future for yourself. Because you, we don't want to be known for just our indie stuff. Like, it's cool to have the memories, but we're here to, you know, have a, a bigger impact on things. Wasn't that what Geneva was going on about in the first episode, too? You know, having a bigger impact on things. All right, let's let's just keep this going. All righty, people. Ten-minute Iron Woman match. Go team. Oh, oh. <laughs> Me. I think I'm going to get through all these stories. LOL. You got a ten-minute Iron Woman match. But exactly. I, I'm with that Tasia person. Where are the stories at? Now we're, we're just sort of like not oh, okay well we're not connecting first and foremost uh, i don't know maybe not connecting with the fans and certainly not connecting with our moves apparently oh boy here we go bam Perfect. Uh, I like our little moves there. Love to see it. Are we going to win a point by count out? That'd be amazing. Yay! <laughs> hey, I mean, we got to get creative. That's what Candace was telling us to do. Get a little creative. Get a little crafty. Got to have different ways to win, right? We're putting our lessons in action. And it's, it's delightful. It's wonderful. But yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying the episode so far. I don't know how long this episode's going to be because, well, this took up the bulk of the story. Uh, but I think based on how things are going, might be able to squeeze in one more uh, storyline uh, here tonight. We got through the Slade match, whatever mess this was. And you know what? That's okay. At least we're meeting people. And, you know, we're, get, we're trying to get along with everybody, which I think is important. Right, right. So there's, there's that. There we go. Oh, God, we're really close to the ropes, though. I don't like this. See? There we go. We're, we were right in the ropes. Oh, I think we got her. Oh, we got her. Perfect. I gotta say, again, I really like all the different models and the uh, ring gear and stuff this year. Candace looks great. Here we go. It's very snappy. It's like our indie move, but just a little bit snappier, a little bit flashier, kind of like how we need to just start doing things around here. It's like that move will always just be with us now. Beautiful neck breaker right there. Love to see it. Love to see it. Beautiful maneuver right there. Love to see that too. Alrighty, what's happening here? All the stomps. Just stomping away. I just, I really hope I don't have to join any tag teams or factions. I just want to just do my own thing. But I suspect that we're probably going to have to deal with a faction, right? At some point. I mean, this is the same show as the Judgment Day, so I would not be surprised if anything, you know, just something crazy were to happen. Plus, like, one of the achievements, I think, is um, defeating Rhea Ripley, so you know we're going to have a run-in with them at some point. Oh no, we're really close to the ropes. All right, we already won a handful of different ways. We already won three different ways. Love to see that for us too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, see, she's smart. She's grabbing the leg away from the ropes. Yeah, that's fine. I need to catch my breath too, Kansas. Don't you worry. We need a break for a second. We need a little water break. Ow. 
I need a water refill. Seriously? I'm terrible at the counters, but I saw that one. Beautiful series of kicks there. You'll love to see it. All right. Okay, we still got five minutes left to go. Oh my god, could you have imagined if we went for that, like, I think the one option was, like, 25 minutes or something, and then the other was, like, 60. I don't remember what the other options were offhand, but they were, like, just really, really long, and I'm just like, I, we don't have the time for that. Well, I mean, we have the time to do it, I just don't want to. Look out! Oh, that's fine. Get a little bit of offense. We're, we're, we're only up for zilch. No big deal. Only up for zero, and we've got four minutes and some change left to go. No big deal. Not at all. Oh my god. Let's just walk around the ring. Well, more like run back into the ring. I gotta say, these are just such random stories that we're getting right out of the gate, but I feel like they're all kind of adding up. It's like, who do we want to be in WWE? You know, do we want to hold on to the past? Do we want to do, do we want to, like, keep the good bits and leave the rest behind? Or do we just stay stuck in the past? Do we just let people walk all over us? Which, I mean, that sounds like that's how things kind of happened. Here we go. Another way to win. See, we're learning. <laughs> oh, and Candace kicked out right there. We got a fight forever chant going. We're throwing a bit of a temper tantrum, and that's okay. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but we'll roll with it. Beautiful counter right there from Bennett. Love to see that, too. Oh, nice kicks. Oh, nice kick right there, too. Oh, boy. Here we go. Got another submission on our hands. Beautiful. 5-0. We got 2 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this Iron Woman match. Alright, Candace. Get a little bit of offense in. Why, why not? Get a little bit of your stuff in. This is fine. Everything's fine. Nope. Not how we operate around here. Oh, okay. Well, we just kind of just kicked right out of that. Oh, nice counter right there from Bennett. It's like, alright, you took a little too much offense for my liking. Oh, right into the ropes. Or were we? Okay, now that we're definitely into the ropes. Or not. Apparently not. We got a women's wrestling champ breaking out, and I'm all for it. Rightfully so. Beautiful knee drop right there. And Ben is just, like, soaking in all the crowd cheering and stuff like that. Listen, we're just trying to pass the time away at this point. We don't have anything else left to prove. There we go, our old finisher maneuver. Or our old signature maneuver, rather. Again, a showcase of our moveset. Yeah, that's fine, Candace. You, you take your good old time, we'll run out the clock over here. Have a good old time. We got 35 seconds left, so I think we're in the clear. For now. 
I think. Yes, no, maybe so. We're just we're just gonna let her just go and go at us. Just keep going, Candace. You're doing great. This this is fine. We're doing great. We're we're up six zero. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Proud of you, Christina Bennett. We're proud of you and just all your accomplishments. We won 6-0, and I think let's move on to our uh, hopefully uh, final story of the episode here because that that took some time, people. That took a little bit of time. All right, do the work. Upgrade points, 13 points. Love to see it. Okay, so we have Troy. We have Tom. Oh my God, Tom. Justine, Janine. All righty, so what stories do we have left? Okay, so we have Master of the House, Lightning in a Bottle, are we having fun yet? I, I don't know if I'm having fun yet or not, but we're we're rolling with the punches at this point. Let's check the social media. Great match on Raw tonight. If you can, check out Christina Bennett's victory over Candice LeRae. Some excellent ring work on display. Okay, but we need to have a little bit of personality. That's our thing. Like, we clearly have it, but we're just not utilizing it to the best of our ability in the ring, like on the microphone or anything. Like, we're, we're more than capable of doing so. So we upgraded striking because obviously, uh, and so I think that's a good little move right there. Uh, so I'm thinking, do we just start with Tom or do we go over to Justine Janine? Uh, let's see what Justine Janine has to say. How do you feel about a ridiculously long drive? Wait, why? Hey, Justine, I feel ambivalent. Justine what if Janine. I said the magic words, mileage reimbursement. Beautiful. You had my interest. Now, you have my undivided attention. <laughs> I'm in a travel woes bind. There's a live event tonight, and Wendy Chu's scheduled opponent is stuck in the Detroit airport. Any chance you can step down from the lofty heights of televised wrestling to help a WWE legend? Oh, Justine! <laughs> I'm in. Honestly, it'll be nice to get back to my roots at a live event. No TV cameras, doing it just for the fans. Oh, Jesus. Right on. Justine knows that we're full of crap, or, you know, I, I don't think she, she... Justine Janine ain't buying it. Hey, since I don't have to worry about TV time, how about letting me spice up the match with Wendy? You don't need to spice up anything! Oh, TLC, no holds barred. Submission only. That's the only one that we're doing. Why, why do stupid stuff? Let me put the herd on Wendy. Submissions only. Sure, why not? Have at it. Just keep it somewhat under control. Can't go too crazy at a live event. Right, that's what I'm saying. That is exactly what I'm saying. Like, why are we trying to do stupid things? Not in front of a crowd or anything at the very least. My god. Ooh, look at us. Our first live event. Oh, we really should have experimented with our gear first, but that's okay. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Wait, why? From Cincinnati. It's a submission match. It's not a normal one-on-one -on -one match. Like, what? There it goes again! <laughs> At this rate, we're just gonna have to skip all the entrances, but I had to do it because our girl, uh, uh, this is her first WWE live event, and it might be her last at the rate things are going at. Alrighty, here we go. We got a submission match right here. Try to submit Wendy Chu. That's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> Gotta love alliteration, right? Right. Oh, but I think this might be our last story. We might try to do the Tom match, depending on, like, well, how long it takes us, you know, what, what's going into that. But I wonder what happened with the Miz there, because wasn't the Miz, like, there, like, five minutes ago? Like, what, what all happened? Well, I think it's because he went through the pivotal plot point match with Candace, so we probably missed something, but that's okay. Listen, we're, we're just here to just try and put up our uh, best effort over here, right? Right. Gotta do it for the people. So did we have the car ride with Justine Janine? Because that would actually be kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, I need that spin-off series. We need the web exclusive. We need the ride-along. Oh my god! 
<laughs> Could you imagine? That's what they should do in a storyline. I don't know if they're going to get to it in this game yet, because again, by the time that you're seeing this, we'll probably be a little bit further ahead because I like to record a couple days out because that's just how I function at this point. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But I, I, we need a ride-along type of a storyline. I know we kind of had something back in 2K20 for a cup of coffee there. And uh, Buzz back in 2K19, like, you know, he was going to independent shows in his van. So, I mean, you know... Uh, we're, we're just sort of making it work, I think. I mean, we can make it happen. Okay, we're in a good spot here. We're in a good spot here. Please be away from the ropes. Okay, we're good. Beautiful. We did it, people. See, we just need to keep going through people at this point and keep winning matches. While exploring our character a little bit. And see, we didn't have to put anybody through a flaming table to entertain the people. I think that's worth mentioning because, again, like, our girl's been on the independence for a little bit, right? And, and I respect that and everything, but, like, what works on the independence, it might not work in WWE. And you need to learn and adapt and all that good stuff. And not put people through uh, and not put people through flaming tables. So there's that. Justine Janine. I had to. What in the hell was that supposed to be? What? What are you talking about? Your match with Wendy. I let you pick the match type, but injure my wrestler so she can't work TV this week was not what? supposed to be an option. I have to completely rework my plan for the next NXT. Uh, I didn't go out there looking to put the girl on the shelf, Justine. I was trying to win and did what was necessary to do so, just like you would have done. No, not like I would have done, because I know how to win and still be <laughs> smart in the ring. This isn't TBD. Hey, we, we didn't put somebody through a flaming table, Justine. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, snap. It means the jumping off of things at an outlaw mud show. Oh, it's she said the, the thing. the same thing as knowing fundamentals. <sighs> Justine, Janine, this ain't about you. I know you. my fundamentals just fine, Justine. Do you? Then you will deeply enjoy your next match, which will be against Tamina at the performance Oh, my center. God. And to make sure you don't do anything fancy, all top rope moves are banned. Fundamentals. I mean, we didn't even use any top rope moves as far as I can recall, Justine Janine, but go on. I can't go to the PC. I have commitments to Raw. After I sent Regal the live show report, you do not. You're not getting another match on Raw. <laughs> Justine Janine continues to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> She's just the worst, y'all. Oh, great. It's fine. Everything's fine. No top rope. No top rope moves allowed. And everybody's matching outfits for absolutely no reason. Oh my god. <laughs> like, what is this? I mean, like, this is kind of what I've been saying to uh, Christina Bennett, and I get why I, I get why we're kind of going through this, but, like, if they had any concerns about her, shouldn't they have just started her out in NXT for a cup of coffee and then moved her to Raw or SmackDown? I'm just saying. <laughs> she could have brought some fresh eyes to NXT, bring some new eyes to the product, uh, have a little story at some point with Sally, and, you know, maybe even some other people on the roster. That could have been such a good direction to go to. Maybe that's where we're going. I don't know. Maybe they're just like, yeah, we don't know what to do with you, but we're not going to get rid of you. I don't know. Because, <laughs> I mean, we still don't really have a sense of direction. This is, like, just character development, but, like, main roster edition. Justine Janine! Master of the house, and yet we, we... Can we have, like, a promo at some point to send the people home happy? I think they'd appreciate that. <laughs> That'd be great. We need more mic time with her at some point. Like, we need a promo class with Christina Bennett. Please include that as a segment. <laughs> have her in promo class while she's here at the PC, people. Just have her in the PC promo class. That would be amazing. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, we did it with the sneaky roll-up! We won with the sneaky roll-up! We did it! Look at how fired up we are. Look at how mad Justine Janine is. Look at that skilled wrestler. Oh, jeez. Real nice sarcasm, Justine. I told you I didn't need to fly to win. I just enjoy it. So does the crowd. No sarcasm at all. I know you can wrestle, but I wasn't sure if you still did. <laughs> Throwing yourself without thinking it through is how people get hurt. I'm gonna have to agree with that. I feel so mentored. Thank you for your wisdom, <laughs> oh great oracle of the craft. <laughs> Give her a microphone again, please! Great! Another six or seven weeks here and I can send you back to Raw. Wait, what? What? I'm not being held hostage in Orlando by you. I know the basics, Justine. Uh, just, just go to promo Justine. class. Come on. I'm sorry, I have more tools at my disposal than you had back in your day. Oh, no. Back in my day? You sure have a lot to say on this. Hope you have the goods to back it up against me. <laughs> Throw us in promo class for seven weeks. Then I think we're good to go. <laughs> Stay there for seven weeks to just go to promo class and maybe have matches with people, but mostly promo class, because that's where we need you at. Are you challenging me to a match? Six weeks drilling drop downs and running the ropes, or one match with a legend under your own TBD rules? Oh, your Jesus. Call. Or we could do six weeks in promo class. <laughs> if you wanted to go, why didn't you just ask? Forget it, Cap. It's wrestling. Justine Janine! Hey, we're matching! Hey, there we go! That's our tag team partner! Justine Janine! TBD rules. Hey, she's got new gear this year, I think. Sort of. I know that she had, like, the... Like, a similar attire, I think. Yeah, I think she had a very similar one, if not maybe the exact same one, uh, during the Elimination Chamber in last year's game. So, there's that. Oh, God. Justine Janine, why do you continue to be the worst? <laughs> She just continues to be the worst. Like, I do think that we could stay, you know, in Orlando for a few weeks, have a little bit of a repackage. See, we could have had that for us. But no. It's like, we don't want to move from the past. And it's just like, girl, you're like, you need to move forward. You, you, you can sort of talk. You've got personality. You can clearly, you know, do the in-ring stuff. Like, ugh. Hopefully we get a proper feud soon. Uh, I know some people are probably yelling at me in the comments, like, quit it with these side missions. It's like, well, that's... We're here to cover as much ground as possible, and some people will speed run through it. I'm, I'm not a speed runner <laughs> every year with these things. I just like to see what happens. I like to see all the different stories that we get to go through, and just all the shenanigans. And it gives us more ammunition for original content later on, which, hopefully, if things go well, um, we'll, we'll see what unfolds, but... Well, uh, again, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we have to uh, work with with our original series and stuff. Because I really enjoyed doing the Christina Bennett series last year. And so kind of going through the women's My Rise so far. It's like, okay, we have something there. there. There might be some sort of a story to kind of work with. So this, this could work. This could go towards something, I would think. Justine Janine has the resiliency. We need to be careful. Ooh, she didn't even uh, kick out there. Love that for us. Ooh, look at us with a new move. We're building up momentum here, and you'll love to see it. Steve knee. Justine Janine continues to be the worst. Oh my god. Okay, that took a minute there. That that really did that took a minute. But that's okay, we're still making it work. Oh, missed the drop kick. Well hey, we got into the ring with a Hall of Famer, whether it's Justine Janine, you know. Even though it is Justine Janine, right? Right. Oh, well, that only took us, what, like three episodes before we got back to Justine. I mean, well, she showed up in the first episode and everything, and then we missed her story there. But you, you get the point, right? Right? Although, wait, I think The Miz was a, uh... Isn't The Miz a GM in this year's game, right? Like, he's supposed to be, I think, the SmackDown referee. What if he was trying to get us to go to SmackDown? That would be funny.
We did it, people. We beat Justine Janine in a uh, live event. Or at a live event, rather. Winner, Take that, Justine Janine! <laughs> I will not apologize for that. Oh my god. I need to see what all these stories are looking like moving ahead. This is going to be great. We're in the final stretch of stories in this first section of My Rise, and I'm looking forward to it. Story completed, Master of the House, 10 upgrade points. So we have Troy Simpkin, and we have Tom left. So here's the game plan, right? So we're going to take a look at our DMs. The future is in good hands. Congrats, Cap. I'm going to go ahead and take an ice bath. I love you, I'm sorry! <laughs> hey, you're getting zero credit for my retirement, kid. You'd have to beat me way worse than that. <laughs> oh, just Janine. Okay, so we only have 10 points, so we can't really update anything. However, uh, we can take a look at our story progress over here. And so, as you can see, we only have uh, two more feuds and stories to kind of go through. So, here's the game plan. We've got this story over here, lightning in a bottle. And we have, are we having fun yet? So, we have all these mystery awards, rewards coming up. So the game plan is to go to Tom's story and then go to the next sort of like portal uh, with Troy after that. So we're going to finish up the first round of stories in the next episode and kind of go forth from there. So again, thank you all CPD Robots for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notifications around here and that sort of thing. Again, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers, which is really, really exciting. And I want to thank everybody for all the love and support for the channel, for the series. It really means a lot to me. So again, thank you all super duper much for watching, and I will see you all the next one.